Your girl had a glass of wine for dinner and she is now sweating buckets. So enjoy this super sweaty magulo vlog. I am so sorry, guys. I didn't bring my camera because I forgot. Let's just say my brain doesn't really work on Sundays, but good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's Vlogmas Day 7 today. I'm at the station right now. I'm doing my hip 26 shift. So I'm here from 9 to 12. And then I'm going to go home, watch Sunday service with the fam. And then I think I want to show you guys some of the bits that I received over the week. Some brands kindly sent me some things. So I want to unbox them with you guys. We can look at it together. We can make it a thing. I love hip 26. I think I say this all the time, but it's honestly my favorite day aside from Riot Wednesday. You know me. I'm a hip hop R&B kind of gal. I'm going to say hello in just a bit and then i'm gonna play more songs and requests and stuff so i'll catch you guys later hey guys so i'm home now i'm gonna head downstairs and watch sunday service but before that i thought i'd show you what i wore to the station i super love this old rose sweater who is this I think Pen Shop sent me this. It's really, really lovely material. I love this sweater. Got my champion gray joggers and my Crocs. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Crocs are the best shoes ever. I plan to get them in every single color. Oh my gosh, thanks, Jen. Trina got us burgers for lunch. Oh my god. OMG. It's called Oakland Fries. I'm excited to see what these look like. <laughs> There's three types of burgers. So I got us one each. So I mean, you, you can choose which Dear one. God, this looks fake. And the box is the perfect size. The burger doesn't like freak out. Are these double patties? Yeah. Holy. So what are the three burgers? So their three burgers are, hold on, the California double cheese, the Tokyo tepas, tepasaki, and the Texas bacon barbecue. So this is what Trina chose for me. Mom and I asked her to just pick which burger she wanted to give us. So I got the Texas barbecue. It's from a place called Phi Joint, guys. I'll try to remember to link it in the description because I always forget. <laughs> Sorry. So that's my massive burger. These are the Oakland fries. We put some of the special sauce and the cheese on it. It looks insane. About 10,000 calories for the box. She got the double cheese and mom got the Japanese one. Already... Wow, I'm a sight for sore ice. Massive. Sure. Oh crap. What was it? Wow, man. <laughs> is it spicy? What's wrong? It's the best burger yet. Are you serious? Oh, wait a minute. Oh my god! Try the fries first. That's fire. Not gonna lie, completely and utterly stuffed from the burger and the fries. Thanks, Trin. You're welcome. But now we've got some dessert because healthy living, we're all about that balance. There's always room for dessert. Always, mother. So we've got three chocolate M bakery cupcakes. Oh yeah. She gave us three different designs. That is just too precious. Hey. Bean, hi! So I'm giving Kebby a bath and he has some medicated shampoo that needs to stay on his body for five minutes, which is why he is in his cage. Kebby, sit, sit. Hello, handsome boy. Wow, you look good. If you guys didn't know, Kebby suffers from like skin rashes. He has really bad allergies that he gets from time to time. So the vet prescribed Hi, baby. Are you modeling it for everyone? It's called Ketadine Shampoo. The vet says it works. Kebby still gets his rashes from time to time. I think I might bring him to the vet next week. I think he might have to have another course of antibiotics. Oh, big shake. Yeah, I'm just gonna let this little one marinate. <laughs> Kebby, you can't eat that. He looks so funny when he's wet. Like, I know they say like Shih Tzus or long-haired dogs look funny when they're wet, but I don't know about you guys, but Kebby looks really funny. <laughs> Are you drinking? <laughs> hey! Hi!
am not cute. Just finished a lovely catch-up video call with my best friend Lucy. I think I've told you guys about her before. She lives in Dubai and she was on her lunch break, so we decided to catch up. We try to do these weekly. It was really lovely. I love being able to talk to all of my friends, especially the ones who live abroad because I always want to check up on them. My spots. This one in particular, according to my derma, she says that I should put some vitamin C serum on it. This was an old pimple that died and now left like the most obnoxious red spot. I gotta sort that out. I know I have a vitamin C cream somewhere here. I'm gonna go downstairs now to have some dinner. Trina just told me that the Jersey Bakery smoked salmon spread that she ordered has arrived. So I think we're gonna have that with some toasted bread. I'm going to be making some soup. Now if Lucy is watching this, Lucy, <laughs> she says that me taking soup from a can and putting it in a pot is not cooking it. She says that's what you call heating up soup. But to her, I say, I add salt, pepper, and basil. So technically I am making it better. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna go downstairs and make some dinner. Could I be any more good looking? We also spent the entire afternoon, well not the entire afternoon because I bathed kebab. We spent most of the afternoon watching a new show on HBO GO called Big Little Lies and oh my goodness. It's so good. Like I am really, really happy that the fam and I are discovering all of these shows that I mean have been around for quite a while, but they're new to us. We've done two episodes and it's so gripping. So I can't wait for us to start watching the other episodes. Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna stop blabbering. I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna go downstairs and make some soup. Oh my god, I just keep getting progressively more good looking as this vlog carries on. Just finished dinner with the fam. I was going to sit down and show you guys the stuff that I got from Memo, but I think I'll save this for maybe Tuesday because tomorrow is my gig and I don't know how long I'm going to be there for. So I don't know if I'll have time to show you guys the stuff that I got. I want to show you in the day because I feel like the lighting will be better. This lighting is not very cute. This vlog has been all over the place. I apologize. My head is kind of a little all over the place. Sundays are usually days where I turn my brain off, but here we are. So instead of showing you the things that I got from Memo, I thought that I would pack for my event tomorrow with you guys. Since we're going to a studio, I have to bring my own clothes and I have to pack everything so that tomorrow I can just grab everything and go. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna do my makeup and my hair here at home, but I am going to be bringing some makeup bits as well, but only after I've used them. I'll probably vlog that tomorrow. For now, I thought I'd show you guys, you know, like me getting ready, bringing my outfits, putting them in my garment bag and whatnot. So you guys already know that the dress required for the event is the Zara one that I bought in Rockwell. So I'm gonna be bringing this, but they are asking me to bring one more option just so they can choose. But I really think that this is the dress that they're gonna choose anyway, but I'll just bring another black dress. I also need to bring my leather jacket. This is my oversized faux leather jacket from Zara. I know, I shop in Zara a lot. I got this last year and I wore it when I went to London and Scotland. Favorite jacket. And then for the other dress option, I think I'm gonna bring this gorgeous velvet number. Trina actually gave me this when we were going through the clothes in her room for the typhoon victims. We were gonna donate our clean clothes, which we were able to, thank God. She showed me this dress. It's from Armani. So it's a vintage Armani dress. It's very, very cute. And yeah, I've been really dying to wear this, so I think I'll bring it as well, but I really feel like they're gonna pick the satin dress in. Now, because this satin dress is quite low cut, I am going to be bringing fashion tape and nipple tape as well. So let me show you those. I'm so sweaty, I'm so sorry. For events, these are what I like to use. They're from Bench, so they're very inexpensive and they're easy to get. I love the Bench body nipple tapes. They're really great. They're made of like this sort of satin material. They're not the jelly ones, like the sticky bras. I also really like Bench's fashion tape. Fashion tape is good for, you know those clothes that you sometimes have that they open up and they show your bits? It's sort of like double-sided tape, but safer for the skin and safer for the fabric. So that's what I'm gonna use. Last bit, shoes. <laughs> for my shoes, because I actually don't know if my shoes are even gonna be seen in the shots, but you know, I always like to wear cute shoes. So I'm gonna bring two. First are my trusty Zara stilettos. I get questions about these sandals all the time. They're old, I'm sorry to tell you guys. Um, I got them in Japan. They've got the see-through strap where the toes are and then it's a really good heel height as well. I love these shoes for hosting. Very comfortable for standing for hours and hours on end. So I'm bringing these. Can I, can I kneel? 
And the other pair of shoes I'm going to bring, I purchased these right before the start of lockdown and unfortunately I haven't gotten to wear them at all since I got them because of lockdown. I mean, where am I going to go? So I thought, you know what? I'll bring them. Let's just see. They're these gorgeous Cinderella shoes. I mean, look at that. It literally looks like Cinderella's shoe. I've never worn them, so they're so clean and perfect. They're from Public Desire, one of my favorite shoe brands. You can get them on Zalora. Literally a clear shoe. It's a clear pump with a really cool heel. I'm gonna bring these as well and see. So those are my shoes and my outfits. I'm gonna pack everything up and then I'm gonna stand in front of the electric fan for like 10 minutes. It is much later. I apologize for today's vlog. I know that it was all over the place. It was sweaty. It was crazy. It was not very Christmassy if I'm being completely honest. But you know, the day started off great and then during dinner, stressful stuff happened and I kind of just lost it. I apologize that you guys had to see that and you guys had to see how messy my brain was but I finished packing all of my clothes, accessories, and shoes for tomorrow's gig. I have showered and washed all that juju away so I feel loads better. As you can see behind me, my laptop is on. I was able to edit all of today's footage. Wasn't that hard? I mean it was because I just kept blabbering but wasn't that hard because there was much that happened. So after I speak to you, I'm gonna export this, do the final edits, and then upload it and schedule it for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a very busy day for me. I'm gonna be work from home, so I'm gonna be doing the show tomorrow from 10 to 12.30, and then Leah is gonna get me because we have to head on over to our gig. It's quite far, which is why I'm gonna need to do my hair and my makeup here at home whilst doing the show. I'll find some time to do that in between segments. Some days are really not gonna be very interesting. It's just the price you pay for vlogging every single day and vlogging during a pandemic. Thank you so much for watching today's vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And leave me a comment down below of what you do when you're stressed out. Do you have any tips for me? Any helpful tips that'll make me freak out less? <laughs> do let me know. And I'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Bye!